So, in this lecture, we are going to see an issue which was faced by majority of the students. And the issue is very simple. I have seen, I have observed few students who was keep on repeating the problems which they felt very easy during their first time itself. That is, they used to, whenever they are reading the concept, they used to do, redo the problem which they already did and which they are very familiar with, which they are very comfortable with. They are re redoing the same problem which are somewhat easier, man. They are doing it again and again. And, and this will be taking huge time. This will consuming you huge time. And first, let me explain the problem clearly. Let us consider a person who is preparing for a gate examination or ES or any competitive examination. And for one particular subject, he is having some problem set. Maybe it, it may be previous year problem set or it may be uh, a booklet which is given, a booklet which is given by their institute or he might have bought any, any books from outside. Whatever may be, he is having few problem sets with him. And for one subject, he is having around, uh, let us consider that there was around 450 problems. There was around 450 problems for one subject. And uh, once he started the subject, that is he is initially starting the first chapter and he is starting to write, he is starting to do the problem. So once after finishing all this 440 problems, he finished all the 440 problems, that is he done with the subject and he, and he finished all this 440 problems. And it is, let us consider it is during the month of July or August. And again after 2 or 3 months when he is going to revise the subject again, right? Now already said you need, you, it is not like 2 or 3 months, you need to revise it periodically, that video is separately there, you can see it. I'm just, I'm just giving you, for example, he is going to do the problems again. Let us consider not only revising, he, he need to do the problems again. And at that time, September or, uh, September or October, he will repeat all this 450 problems again. And uh, from my point of view, it is not necessary. Let me give you an example. In this 450 problems, there were many problems. There would be many problems which are direct, direct substitution of formulas. Directly you need to take the formula, substitute it, solve it. And few theory questions which are directly from the concepts which you learnt, which you are revising it periodically and few theory questions which are there. Okay, few theory which are direct. And there will be few theory questions which are tricky. Right, tricky theory questions too. And there will be problems which needs more time and which needs more analysis. Not generally like directly substituting the formula. You need to ana analyze more and you need to think for that problem. So there are few problems which will, for, uh, for instance, there might be few problems which are difficult to solve at the first attempt. That is when you are trying to solve initially this 450 problems, there, there you will get few problems which will be difficult to solve at the first attempt. And those are the few problems which has to be taken care of and this Tricky theory questions are something which you need to take and care of, right? If you could do these two properly, then these two is very easy. It can be directly taken from your concepts, right? So, what I am suggesting you is, when you are starting a problem, when you are starting to do problems of a subject, if you are starting with the first chapter of a subject, there will be many, you will be having a problem sheet, one, two, three, or there will be many problems and first problem you are trying to solve and it is very easy directly from the formula and you are solving it the first attempt itself okay done you don't have to care about that because directly from the formula you are getting it and you are substituting it so no problem for that now come for the second problem which is also very easy it is directly from the theory which you learnt direct theory question you can easily mark that also the same way you will be doing third problem, fourth problem and you will be solving every problem which you are comfortable with. But finally, in between, you will be getting some problem, maybe seventh or eighth, whatever, maybe I am just giving number, it may be any problem, it may be first problem itself may be difficult, it depends. So maybe seventh or eighth problem, during your first attempt to solve the problem, when you are trying to solve the problem, you cannot do it. I am not saying that you cannot do it, 
you you are trying to solve that problem but you are feeling that it is very tough and you are not able to proceed you are proceeding it you are proceeding for half the amount and after that you are stopping and at this point you don't know how to proceed so what i will suggest you is put a star mark near that seventh problem put a star mark near the problem which you felt difficult during your first attempt of solving right and that problem and now look at the solution or look at into the answer and or ask to anyone and solve the problem complete the problem fully now go for eighth and again you are facing difficulty in eighth problem also mark that eighth problem too and now go for ninth problem it's very simple direct formula direct theory done tenth problem direct formula direct theory done eleventh problem direct formula direct theory done but twelfth problem again you are facing that difficulty either it may be a trickier concept to understand trickier conceptual question or it may be or it may be a, trick, a trickier uh, numerical also whatever question may be that is not important but if you are facing difficulty in that problem just mark it off just mark a star near that so in the same way do it for the complete 450 problems so out of this 450 now you, you would have maximum you would have reduced to 280 to 100 maximum that is 80 to 100 conceptual problem most of the books there will be around 60-70% uh, it will be easier problem so 80 to 100 conceptual problem or you might be getting maximum 120 to 80, 120 or 100 problems maximum you will be marked with the star and next time when you are revising this subject fully do only that problem do only that problem and during your second attempt of solving that problem if you face difficulty again for example, seventh problem, you are facing the difficulty again. Put two star over it, and in the bracket near near that seventh problem, write either this side or this side somewhere. Write what is the difficulty which you faced. What is the difficulty which you faced during the second attempt? First attempt itself, you should have cleared it, but now again you are facing difficulty, right? So, what is the difficulty which you faced? Write it. Either in the right side or on the left side. Okay, write it. Now proceed it. 8, 9. And if suppose if you are solving 8th problem, then well and good. Just keep it with 1 star. If you are not solving the 8th problem, then you again you need to repeat. Again you need to put a star and you need to write. Where it went wrong. Where is the mistake I am doing. Why I cannot proceed. Those type of small, small hints you can write it off. And now go for 12, 13, 14 and proceed off and finish off this 80 to 100 problems second time and during the second attempt when you are solving these 450 problems you don't have to solve these few very very simple direct formula based or concepts based direct concept based formulas to solve problems so this will save your time enormously and this will be very very useful because now you are solving only some quality problems you are solving only quality problems in that the problems which you faced difficulty before if you are facing the difficulty again keep on adding the star and like first now for example in the second attempt you added two star the third attempt before solving that problem read the hint first don't write complete complete thing into the hint hint should be such that very small and crispy okay what is the mistake like that it should be very small and crispy don't write completely i'm doing I am not put integration sign for this, I didn't put minus for this, I didn't put plus for this. Where you are doing mistake? You are doing mistake in integration, write integration, that's enough. And when you are solving the seventh problem, read that integration. So you are doing a mistake in integration. So at that time you start to thinking. Integration, what might have been the mistake which I would have done? Like that you will start to think and after that start to proceed this problem. Right? So in the same way, if you are doing, again if you are not getting that will be an another problem and put it three stars the same way you can add stars and that stars will give you a toughest problem and uh, the uh, the problems with less star will be the easiest one and you will be having the hint before solving it read the hint and proceed it right so this is the method such that you can follow so that it will be easier instead of solving the 450 problems you can reduce it to 100 or 120 this will save enormous number of time as you know gate preparation is for six months and you will you won't be having that much time for the preparation so this could help you a lot and i hope that this video has helped
Thank you.